What is up and welcome to Loose Beats where our motto is chill out and make a beat. I'm Toby aka Cushing from the TND channel. Make sure you check out everything we do and today I'm going to talk about how to make a good synth line in a song and first we're just going to go ahead and check this beat out and then we'll get back to it in a minute. Yeah, so this is a fun little energetic song, uh, pretty creepy tone, and it's just a fun one. It's a synth line that you can listen to over and over again and kind of feel like it's changing, you know? It has, uh, you know, it just doesn't get boring. And there's a couple elements that I think help uh, do that, but first, I uh, just want to hit on some of these other instruments to see what we're doing. Uh, we got a Wurlitzer down here, and... And we're just doing this E flat major seven and then a uh, C minor seven. I do want them kind of laid out like that, kind of crawling eventually, but you know, for now, I'm just barely hitting them so we can have our tone back there. Yeah, so those are just there for our change, you know and to bring us in our right notes. And so uh, on top of that, we got a couple other things. We got this upright baby bass, and it's just doing this simple little walk. Yeah, so it's a just an easy little walk up and down. And one cool thing about this uh, upright baby bass, and I think all the upright basses have this thing where when you hit your velocity just a little bit harder, it has a little bend up to it. You know, and that could be easily overused if you don't watch it, but it's a nice thing to pepper in if you can learn how to be tasteful with it. And so with that baby bass, uh, we have a little kit going up here. We got these two Ibiza kits that are running in our drum machine here. And so let's see what we got. Very hi-hat heavy, you know, very open hat heavy, which I don't normally focus on there. And then we got a little, yeah, a little block there, which is nice. Yeah, so that's a fun little kit. The Ibiza kit is kind of, it reminds me of some 80s, uh, some 80s prog kind of kit maybe even a little talking head style like uh we got that and then we doubled up this abiza and then we put a um just a simple little snap it's actually a snap and a block yeah just to bring that little r&b that little love vibe into it you know be real sweet with it and so you know, with that, we got our last little thing is the sound effect here, which is under C beams glittering. And you can hear the work that it's doing. Yeah, so we got a a few things that are vital to me in there. Uh, one is the the glittering part, the little uh, kind of raindrop sounding things that are happening. And then you've got your kind of siren synth moving up and down with it. 
and uh, on top of your just regular pad sound. And then below that, when it falls uh, down in pitch, it kind of gets this grumbling, uh, distorted, bit crush kind of sound. Yeah, that grumble. Yeah. And so there's a few elements in there that can really help kind of fill that space when you don't have anything there. And with that, we're to the synth line. So the reason I wanted to do this was because, you know, it's few and far between that I actually hear a synth line that I like enough to where I can just keep it in a loop and keep it repeating. And this was one that really worked for me. And I kind of wanted to look at it and see what was so good about it to me. So I'm going to listen to it one more time uh, with the beat, and then we'll get into analyzing it. Okay, so first off, I think the tone is what sticks out to me. Uh, this funk bass blast, uh, it has this really gritty. When you're, uh, when you're playing uh, staccato. And not overlapping them, it really hits that gritty, nasty tone. Uh, and so first off, that just fits with this sound to me. And it also mixes in with our effect back here, that grumbling bit crushed effect. Uh, it really just kind of blends in and makes it seem like it's supposed to be there. And secondly, this first little pause is a lot for me. Just because a lot of times a synth line, sometimes a guitar line, but especially the synth, can come in too heavy, too strong, and take over, especially if it's a loop. And it can just be kind of overbearing. You might not hit your tone and velocity right, right on the first note. So I like leaving just that little half step, you know, a little break in there uh, from the beginning to give us this kind of offset uh, rhythm or, or offset lead to it, right? And so that first little bit. Yeah. And just that pause means a lot. You know, it really, it really gives us time to get to know the beat just for a second before it jumps in and kind of takes over right uh, secondly is this jump in the beginning so it's a it's just an octave jump that uh when the movement across the board like that you know you could even go you know like the movement when you can jump octaves especially with uh, something like this, a uh, synth that plays off of the notes like that, uh, really helps mix up the tone too, you know, and gives you something kind of exciting about it. Uh, secondly, are not only these bringing in notes, but the ones that are peppered in, like that pepper. And if you'll see, we got this first note here. Ones like this, if you can hear it, Yeah, do you hear these two lower ones just peppered in? They're kind of uh, peppered a little different, but... You know, like you, you throw in, kind of like you would play a clav. Uh, you kind of throw in that octave below the notes to accent them. Not necessarily what you're playing in the, the higher octave, but just something in between to accent them. Kind of a, as a bass note, but still in your lead. And... That just really helps to mix it up and give it a more full sound, you know, so you're not just playing in one octave at a time. You kind of, like we said, you're swiping the board with it and giving it just a very broad sound. And another thing, uh, of course, is these uh, little slide up. So here in this next section, yeah, so. Really, learning to use that tastefully is very hard. And that's normally why I just focus on a single note, you know, if I was going to step down. 
you know i will switch up my root my base note here that i'm alternating with but i'm really not trying to get too complicated with that and lose the essence of it so i really use it kind of as a pump right oh, yeah. you can do them from the top from the bottom there's uh, one at the end here uh, that uses the top as its pump Yeah, so those little pumps up and down both kind of lead into it. And especially if you can get them in a very vital point, like I did in this uh, last one right here. If you see this one, this one got in at a very vital point. Yeah, you see it, it jumped us back up and then we fully stepped and then it brought us right back down uh, midway through the note. And see, if you can find you know if you can find the places to to get it in there you can really do wonders with that little pump action thing and so these are just a few things i noticed about the synth line that made it really stand out to me and you know like i said these don't come around all the time so it's just something you kind of got to feel out and i think these are some basic kind of rules to base it around that you can get a good synth line out of and so you watch your tone you give it some space to introduce the beat and not jump into your lead right away. You got your um, your bass clav notes set in there, um, and they're set staccato so you can get the full note. You know they're not uh, they're not gliding down. And then lastly, the glides, the pump action up and down. You know that can just really add some height to a boring note if you're just sitting there for a second. You know, and I think these are some good rules. These are just some basic ways to approach getting a good synth line you know and so that's pretty much it this week this song was it's called tickle right now so you know i hope that you're getting a little giggle yourself and you know make sure to check out everything we do on the channel you know we got an awesome patreon where we're making new content all the time we watch movies with you guys we got different music shows like this video if you want subscribe if you can and just let us know if we're doing a good job. Let us know what you want to see. If you want any beats, if you want to collab, if you make music, let us know. We will always be here ready to get down with you guys. So that being said, we will see you all next week. We're going to go out on this tickle.